Here is the full detailed story of the Baghdad battery, separating the established facts from the popular myth. The short answer, the truth. The object known as the Baghdad battery is a genuine archaeological artifact, but its true purpose remains unknown. The idea that it was an ancient galvanic cell battery is a compelling modern hypothesis, not a confirmed fact. Most archaeologists and historians favor a more mundane explanation. It was a sacred scroll jar for storing important religious or magical texts. The full story, discovery, description, and debate. When 1936, during excavations in the village of Kujut Rabu, near Baghdad, Iraq, who, led by Wilhelm Koenig, who was the director of the National Museum of Iraq at the time, cultural context, the artifacts were found in a subterranean tomb dating from the Parthian period, c. 250 BCE, 224 CE. The Parthians were a powerful empire that controlled the region between the Roman Empire and the Han Dynasty of China. The battery is not a single object but a collection of several similar artifacts. A typical example consists of three components. One, a 13 centimeter 5 inch tall clay jar. It was yellowish in color and shaped like a vase. Two, a copper cylinder. This was soldered shut at the top with a lid tin alloy and housed inside the jar. Three, an iron rod. This was suspended inside the copper cylinder, insulated from it at the top by an asphalt bitumen plug. The iron rod showed signs of acid corrosion. This construction, two different metals separated by an electrolyte, is what sparked the battery hypothesis. The battery hypothesis. The theory was first proposed seriously by Wilhelm Koenig himself. He speculated that if the jar were filled with an acidic or alkaline liquid, like vinegar, wine, or lemon juice, it would act as an electrolyte. This would create a chemical reaction between the copper cylinder, the cathode, and the iron rod, the anode, generating a small electric potential difference, about 0.8 to 1.1 volts. Proposed use is the myth. Proponents of the battery theory have suggested several imaginative uses. Electroplating. The most common theory is that it was used to electroplate gold onto silver objects. This would explain the fine gold plating found on some Parthian artifacts. Medical therapy. Some suggest it could have been used for a form of electrotherapy, perhaps to numb pain or create a sense of mystical awe. Religious experience. A weak current applied to a metal statue might produce a faint tingling sensation, convincing worshippers of a divine presence. The problems in the scholarly consensus. While a fascinating idea, the battery hypothesis faces several major criticisms, 